Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to export your reports to PDF with one click. Today's question comes from Pamela in Fort Worth, Texas, a silver member. Pamela asks, my secretary needs to be able to export my customer balance report each month to a PDF file so she can email it to corporate. She's not an access whiz. Is there any way this can be done automatically? Well, sure, Pamela. You can teach anybody how to export a report from access with a couple of clicks. But if you want to do it with just one click with a button on your main menu form, for example, you have to learn one line of VB code. And it's not hard at all. I'm going to show you in just a minute. Okay, so here's my basic access template that I use for teaching a lot of my classes and videos. I don't have any reports in here, though, so let's throw together a real quick customer report. Here's my customers. All right, I got a bunch of them in here. And let's say the customer report has to go off once a month to corporate, and the, the secretary wants to just be able to just generate it with one button. All right, let's, let's make the report first. Real quick, create, report design. I'm going to come in here, open up the properties for the report, set the record source to customer T. I don't like using wizards. This is just as easy. All right, customer T is where we're getting our records from. Add existing fields. Let's say this report just needs the customer ID, first name, last name, and I'm holding down the control key, by the way, so I can pick multiple fields. Email, and let's say their credit limit. I just want these fields. Click, drag, drop it over here. All right, this is our real quick and dirty customer report. And I'm gonna bring that bottom of the detail section up just a little bit like that, so it all fits on the screen. And a couple of quick options for you. I like to go into the detail section properties. Okay, detail section properties, go to all. I like to say force new page after each section. That means each customer will be on their own page. And I hate that alternating background color. So I'm just going to turn both of these to white. I'm going to click on the dot, dot, dot and pick standard white. That's all Fs like that. Copy and paste. I don't like that alternating background color unless I've got a real thin banded report okay so i'm going to close that let's save this control s save as my customer r all right close that down now when i open up customer r you can see there it is now this opens up in like a preview if you want to see what it's going to look like when it's exported to a pdf go to print preview and there you go that's what it'll look like and you can scroll through the pages there each customer is on his or her own page okay this is what we want to send to corporate now, we could put this on the main menu to open in a report very easily. There's a wizard for it. Okay, if you don't want to go through programming, here's the wizard. Drop the command button there. Report operations. Send report to file. Hit next. Which report do you want? Customer R. Hit next. Text down there. We'll put customer report. Next. You can give it a different name if you want. Command 13 is fine for now, and then hit finish. All right, let's save this form, close it, and then open the main menu back up again. Let's click on our customer report. Now, the output to window pops up. It's going to ask you what format you want. There's PDF right there. Hit OK. It's going to ask where do you want it to go. The default is my OneDrive documents folder, and it will export it as a customer R. Hit OK. All right, and that's it. You're done. It's like three steps, but even that sometimes is a lot for some people. So, can we do it with just one click? Sure we can. Here's how. Let's get rid of this button here. All right, goodbye. See ya. Let's just copy one of these other buttons or drag and drop a new button from the command bar up top there and just don't run the wizard. I'm going to slide this down here. All right, export customer PDF. Okay. Right click, go to build event. You might be asked what kind of builder you want if you've never taken any of my classes before. Pick the code builder. And now I'm inside of the Visual Basic Editor inside Command 14 click. All right, here's your one line of code. Ready? Do command dot output to. Okay, output to. Space. What do you want to output? It's a report. So come down here and pick AC output report space comma what's the object name customer 
R. That's my report. All right, it's right over here. We just made it. Okay, comma the output format. Now they don't give you a list, which I don't like. Microsoft needs to do that. But what you need to type in is AC format PDF. Okay, and then comma output file. Where do you want it to go? Well, I'm just going to put it on my desktop. So figure out what your desktop folder is. Mine is C users Richard desktop. That's where the file is going to go. You can put it anywhere you want to. You can put it in your database folder, you name it, your my documents folder. All right, then give it a name. So call it customer customers.pdf or whatever you want to call it. And that's it. There's your one line of code. That's all you need. All right, save it, close it. Let's close this form and reopen it just to be safe. Hit the button and then you'll see the little window flashes and then look on your desktop. I've got a customers.pdf file right on my desktop and it's that simple. It's one line of code that you can make a button, right? That you click on it and boom, your PDF file is created. Now all she has to do is email and attach that form. Let's open that up and there's my PDF file. Nice and simple, right? Want to learn more? There's an extended cut version of this Tech Help video available for members where I will show you how to export specific customer records into individually named PDFs. So we'll put an export PDF button right on the customer record in the customer form. Click on that and it will create customer one PDF. Go to someone else you want to export, customer seven PDF. So you can go through and export all the customers that you want to export their individual records and then you can do whatever you want with them, email them or print them or whatever. How do you become a member? Well, hit the join button down below the video window. Silver members and up get access to my extended cut tech help videos. And there's lots of them right now. As of today, we've got, what do we got in there? We got uh, 26 different videos, lots of different stuff in there. And I'm adding at least two or three new ones every week. Just click on that join button and you'll see all the different levels that are available. Silver members and up get access to all the tech help videos. But don't worry, I'm going to keep making these free tech help videos. Just as long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making them. Make sure you click on the like button to like this video and share it if you think anybody that you know will benefit from it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to my channel, click on the little bell, you'll get email notifications whenever I release a new video. And that's free, of course. Make sure you click the little show more link down below the description. That'll open up and give you some more links to different videos and other resources. If you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 class, it's free. It's three hours long. Give it a try. And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. And again, that's free for members. Want to see your question answered in a video just like this one? Well, hop over to my Tech Help page and you can submit your questions there. And of course, for everybody here at Access Learning Zone, my name is Richard Rost. And thank you very much. I hope you learned something. And we'll see you next time.